In this video, we will focus on how we can obtain sand and pure copper 2 sulfate salts from a mixture of sand and copper 2 sulfate solution. Some solids are soluble in water, while some are insoluble in water. Now, what do we mean by that? Now, when sand is added into water, sand do not dissolve in water. If we leave it to stand, sand will settle at the bottom of the water. We can separate sand from water using a physical method called filtration. When copper sulfate is added into water, it dissolves to form a blue solution. We say that copper sulfate is soluble in water. When a salt is soluble in water, we cannot simply filter to separate the solute from the solvent. We will have to carry out crystallization. Now let's say we have a mixture of sand and copper two sulfate solution. There are three components in this mixture. We have sand, copper two sulfate salt and water. We can first start by carrying out filtration to separate the sand from copper two sulfate solution. We will pour the mixture through the filter paper. There are small pores on the filter paper. The size is so small, only copper two sulfate solution can pass through. The sand solid particles that are bigger than the pores of the filter paper will not be able to do so. Upon filtration, sand will remain in the filter paper. We call this the residue. The component that passes through the filter paper is called the filtrate. In this case, copper 2 sulfate solution is the filtrate. We know that many salts are soluble in water. Copper 2 sulfate salt is one of them. To obtain the pure salt from the solution, we carry out crystallization. Crystallization is a physical method used to separate a soluble salt from a liquid. We heat the filtrate until it is saturated. Saturated solution simply means that this solution cannot allow any more solid to dissolve in it. In other words, it is a solution in which no more solute can be dissolved in the solvent. To test whether a solution is saturated, we would dip a clean glass rod in the solution. As the solution cools, saturated solution should leave small crystals on the rod. If not, we will need to continue heating until it is saturated. Still, we need to be careful in this step to ensure we do not overheat the solution. If we overheat, we will end up with white solid, which is anhydrous copper 2 sulfate. This is not what we want. We want the blue crystal, which is the pure copper 2 sulfate salt. When the solution is saturated, we leave it to cool. Do not disturb the process by stirring or shaking the mixture. Now crystallization will occur. You will see very pretty blue crystals forming on the evaporating dish. Filter to collect the crystals. To remove the remaining impurities, we will wash with little amount of cold water. We use cold water because copper 2 sulfate salt is soluble. We want to avoid dissolving it again. Lastly, we dry the crystals between filter paper. Ta-da! There you go. We have obtained pure copper 2 sulfate salt. In a nutshell, to separate an insoluble solid from a liquid, we can simply carry out filtration. Separate a soluble salt, which is the solute from the solvent, we will carry out crystallization. Now, if you find this video useful, like the video and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.